Hey guys, uh, I am just going to show you guys how to upgrade uh, fi Frostfire 5.23 to Frostfire 5.29, which is the current release, uh, the most current release, I guess. The first thing you need to do is, uh, first of all, you need to have either have Frostfire, any version of Frostfire, downloaded and installed, or you need to go uh, watch my other video on how to get uh, Frostfire. I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's it's pretty easy if you're not really into computers it's not hard to learn at all it's about the simplest thing you can do so um, the first thing you need to do to update is um, open your browser and just type in frostwire.com um, it'll bring you to this page if you google search it make sure it is frostwire.com and nothing else you don't want frostwire 2 or frostwire 10 or anything else and make sure it's this uh, it says Windows, Frostwire 5.23. Uh, you just want to click Download now. And it'll come to this page, and you won't get any viruses from this, I swear to God. <laughs> uh, you want to keep this. And in a few seconds, it's going to pop up a little uh, thing that says, um, Do I want to download this? Or do I want to continue? So I will look for it. Let's see. There we go. No? Nothing? My computer's being slow, guys. I'm sorry. Huh. Let's try this. I hope this isn't doing this for you guys. One sec. Alright. Uh, I figured it out. So, if it doesn't pop up for you, which it should, you can go into your downloads folder by clicking on the wrench and going down to downloads, or going down, yeah, downloads, and it should just be at the top. So, yes, you want to let it run. Let me minimize that. Um, there we go. So, the uh, wizard will open up, and then I just want to click next. I agree. And if you really know what you're doing, you can change this, but otherwise, I would just leave it like it is, because that's fine. Alright, you probably don't want the ask toolbar. You don't want ask to be your home page and you don't want to accept this either so you just can hit next say yes you don't want the toolbar and this will begin to work I'm gonna pause this because it takes a second uh, if you actually wait before I pause uh, if you get any errors telling you that it can't uh, I got two if um, if you get any errors that says it can't do a certain file if it can't copy a certain file that's fine that generally just means you have an older version of Frostwire installed and the new version can't install a few files over the old files, but it's fine. The old files will work. They'll just, they're just, um, like, I don't know. They're, it's not important, but yeah. So if it gives you errors, just click um, ignore, and it should be fine. All right. Um, let me just reiterate on the error messages thing. If you got them, it's fine. If you didn't get them, it's also fine. Uh, you don't, it's not wrong if you didn't get him, it's not wrong if you got him either. Just hit ignore if you did get him. If you didn't get him, it's fine, just ignore me talking. Uh, hit finish, and you want to open Frostwire 5.29. So finish, and you just have a little icon on your desk, which I am just going to um, attempt to move over here. So that's why I like to keep my little area nice and neat. So, this starts to load, and um, language, English, I think think probably for most of you guys don't want to mess with that um, you just want to seed makes things easier again this if you know what you're doing you can change this location but if you don't just leave it like it is finish and it will um, finish loading all right so uh, this loaded and as you can see it looks the same the big thing about Frostwire 5.29 is that it claims to have quotes um, less advertisements and better spam protection so when you search for files and such uh, there won't be as many like bad files as many virus files which there's really not a lot of but claims to have even less so uh, less bad files and just I guess higher quality files it weeds out all the weak files that you don't want so uh, thanks for watching guys don't forget to comment and subscribe if you have any questions um, you can email me at hacksyouhard at gmail.com or send me a message on YouTube or any other way. Thanks, guys.